Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. We are trying something very new today. Uh, we're going to be moving around a lot and I apologize if uh, things are kind of wacky, camera angles and stuff right off the bat, but we're like I said, we're trying something new. We had a fantastic uh, recommendation for a program uh, for today uh, and that is uh, for uh, feeding setups and feeding uh, for people with limited mobility or disabilities. Um, and we have dealt with this a lot over the years. And we uh, have people who have moved their, their loved ones into an assisted living facility or maybe they are in a, uh, their own home still, but they have limited um, ability to maintain their feeders or even see their feeders. So we have, over the years, we have um, had to come up with ideas for people and, 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 and setups, and, and we've been pretty darn successful at it, and we, we, we are so happy that we can because, you know, uh, feeding birds, we said it over and over again, it's good for you, it's good for uh, your mentality, your, 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 your frame of mind, your, uh, your nerves, everything. It's relaxing, doctors recommend it. Um, it, it gives people a lot of peace of mind and, and they, they, they can enjoy their day uh, when they're confined in a situation. Uh, so what do we do? What are some of the ways that you can make it easier for them? And of course, some of this is going to depend on the, the amount of mobility and the amount of uh, the ability. And hopefully they have someone who can help come fill the bird feeders uh, and maintain them and clean them and things like that. But for especially for visibility, uh, we, we want the feeders as close as we can. Uh, to the windows uh, and and to where they are, are are going to be watching their bird feeders. So um, the first thing we think of is their deck or their patio, uh, somewhere close like that. And for that, you can uh, we have many many deck arms and we have many uh, pole setups that can be uh, placed much closer to um, their the windows and stuff. And I'm going to turn the camera around. So you can see a couple of setups that we have here and this is a, a pole setup that we have on our shortest pole and we have it on a patio plate and this can be uh, affixed you know to your uh, your deck or your patio uh, you might want to put some extra weight on that like a pot uh, with sand in it or something so uh, the wind in the Midwest can be pretty ferocious but um, it does at the lower height. It does give you the ability to, to um, maybe even from a wheelchair get these uh, these feeders down and and, and refill them. Uh, and then of course the deck arms. We have many many options in the deck arm world, and that um, it, again depends on your mobility whether you can get them uh, and get the feeders off of them. But they are you know from your deck usually they're pretty visible and, and enjoyable. Uh, but a lot of one of the places that I like to feed a lot because of the problems with squirrels and with um, the, the raccoons especially is under the eave. And the way to do that, so I'm going to switch you back to me so I can show you down here on the. I've got a couple of options for you here, and that is uh, a, a, a C a, a C hook, as they would call it, a ceiling hook. We can screw into under the eave in front of a big picture window and then we have uh, many sizes of extension hooks that you can either hook to a gutter or hook to that uh, sea hook that, so that the feeder hangs down to where you can get it and, and uh, refill it and put it back up again um, and uh, make it easier for you to access and from from your e under the eave you get some nice weather protection which is really really nice um, as well as being so close to the to the windows that it's you know, much more uh, visible for people with have limited eyesight, um, and they can enjoy them up close and personal. So, that's a that's an option. So, what we're going to do next is the the next best option there is we feel is the window. So we are going to head up to the front of the store, and again, pardon the glare because it is a kind of a real glary day today. Uh, but we're going to go up here and look at some of the the window feeders because they obviously provide you maximum visibility or regular like viewability uh, to uh, for people that are uh, indoors and there are many many different kinds that attach straight to the window there are seed feeders a couple of different uh, options there and then we have hummingbird feeders which are very very popular because hummingbirds are so small but if you have your own feeder 
that you want to attach and hang in front of your window, we have one of the best little hooks I have ever seen. This this little acrylic um, hook here, these suction cups are super strong. We've had them stick to the window for two years at a time uh, and, and uh, hang uh, different kinds of bird feeders from them. As long as it's under like two pounds, then you're okay to hang, you know, hummingbird feeders or finch feeders or a small seed feeder. Uh, from that and it can be hung either way that you see it now looks kind of upside down or you can uh, uh, Affix it the other way. So those are great for visibility and great for um, People in that are limited Inside so not only that for your kids as well because it gets the feeder so close now one other option that we comes into play whenever we are um, especially talking about uh, assisted living facilities, they don't want any kind of waste. They all tell you, yes, you can have a bird feeder, but you cannot have waste on the ground. They don't want to deal with that. So we recommend uh, no waste or low waste seeds. And of course, we have plenty of options there. You have uh, uh, things like nut and berry, which is a low waste seed. And if we can get here, you can see that the, the seed mix has uh, you know uh, mostly sunflower hearts and peanuts in it but there are some holes versus like a deck porch and patio which is 100 percent food no waste whatsoever um, and that is a terrific waste for people that are living in uh, especially like apartments or in assisted living where they can't have any waste at all and then of course we have um, all the just as traditional no waste low waste seeds like the sunflower hearts and chips um, that are available no waste there and peanuts are, of course are no waste seed which are great options to be feeding in situations where you can't afford waste and then you can always you attach trays to your feeders now that is another option for you here's a, a the tray attached to this aspect multi-seed feeder and that'll keep even more waste off the ground which is great um, for if you're in that situation where that's a concern to you so uh, again, what a great idea for a program. I hope this helps. Um, you should not have to deal with not being able to, to, to feed birds and enjoy birds just because of, of limited mobility. So we want to want to help that help you out in any way we can there. So thank you so much for the idea for that program. It was a great one. Please send in more. That, that really helps us. Give us a like. Give us a share. That, that, that helps us out a lot too. And until then, come by. Let's talk birds. Two, one. Would you like to learn more about wild birds? You might want to hit that subscribe button.